Fucking, I got the record, but blew the 109. I just want to start by saying this is Super Mario Bros. 3 100% world record run, playback, redo. Now, being as it's just World 1, I just want to say a couple things. The first thing is that I 100% intended to stop streaming after this run. I did not feel like playing Mario 3 at this point. It was Friday night. I was a little tired. I had company over, um, and I know I needed to do my stream, um, and I just wasn't feeling good about playing slash streaming, so I kind of was like, all right, well, if this run fails, I'm done for the night. I think I was only like two and a half to three hours into my stream, um, and with the way world records work, it seems that that's like sometimes how it happens. I, I remember getting another world record um, where I was like super exhausted or tired, and I wasn't feeling it. I know you guys might think that's like some kind of humble brag, which it sounds like it, but at the same time, it's more of like a, it's, it's weird how when you're slightly exhausted or a little tired or not feeling it, how, how you can make it happen because your brain is less, or at least for me, it feels like my brain's a lot less active, right? I feel like I'm not focusing so hard on all those little things that could bug me in a run. Uh, you know, and like, I didn't overthink anything. I was just like, let's go. I'm, I'm kind of whatever. Yeah, like a flow state. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Something like that. Yo, SDCO, just in time, man, dude. Just in time. We're doing the playback of the world record. The one stream, dude. The one stream. <laughs> I got the record. Yeah, it's this is it. We're doing a playback right now with commentary. Well, yeah, no, don't miss it this time. Yeah, don't miss it this time. Double chair, double everything. It's okay. Commentary's better. Commentary's better. So, I mean, this run so far has been pretty standard. Uh, I, I'm only, I'm only the fourth level in, and I don't think I've really made any, uh, any mistakes or anything just yet. Doing my, doing my normal thing. Um. I feel like at the I feel like at the start of the run I was like slightly grumpy maybe like I said I really was not feeling that night that day that stream I don't know what it was I don't have no idea how that could turn into being like hey world record now so the Hammer Brother has I I I think he's only given me one movement of one so far yeah he's only given me one movement of one so far and I think. I think he moves back to the right again. Me just doing my normal spaz out. Okay, so he does that movement. A 2 minute and 53 A press. Did I get tunnel? If I didn't get tunnel, this record doesn't count. I have to actually delete it and pretend like it never happened. If I didn't get tunnel, then it's over. Wow. Wow. Nope. Didn't count. Didn't count. What a shitty player, man. <laughs> what a... What a dump. Redo. Re yeah, reset. Okay, so he did another movement of one there. And I think he does another... A 323 A press on this level is actually not that good. It's okay, but trust me. It's compared to what's possible. Compared to what's possible. My last stream, I got the record. Tunnel is where I do that tunnel duck jump in that level. You, you missed it, sadly. I didn't get it. See, that's why I had to get it. Because people needed to know. Okay, so I did not get, I really did not get good uh, Hammer Brother RNG, but remember remember what I said to myself? I was like, listen, this is your last run, Mitch. You're done for the night. Like, you're not. That's it. All right, if you mess up. So I kept going. Yo, everyone guessing. Swayze trains Kameen with us, gentlemen. Yo, thank you so much.
All right on. Normal airship. Uh, normal boss fight, pretty much. Done. Not the best world one. I think this was the only split that I lose time in. I'm not sure. Going to run Super... I've done runs of Super Metroid. That game's not for me. I mean, it is, but it's not, right? It is, but he's not. The Swayze Express has illegal parts. <laughs> Dude, Trailer Park Boys. Alright, now we're starting World 2. So, the run is... Right now, the run's pretty standard. Anything 505 for World 1 split is pretty good. But also, at the same time... Um, like, you can get a 503. So, I'm actually a couple seconds behind. Um, when I go back to this grind, we're going to actually see a lot more time saves in World 1 than any other world, probably. I got the flower for the first card here, which means as long as I get the star for my next card, I don't have to do, like, an additional turn back. And what that means is that I don't have to lose any time uh, making sure that I don't get three of the same cards. Now this, I feel like this ended up actually being pretty good. I think I got a 292 in this. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Nope. Normal, normal 291. Normal 291. Did I get a flower there? I did. So right. So if I would have got a star, then I wouldn't have ever had to turn back for three for three cards. So I did right. I didn't. I get a lot of flowers during this run. So right now, the Hammer Brother actually moved back down and in between level 3 and the Sun level. And that's good for me to know because after this level, if he comes back left across level 3, I might start getting movements of 1. And anyone watching this on YouTube who doesn't know, movements of 1 are when the Hammer Brother moves 1 space on the map. And that costs 0.5. That always has to happen. But if a Hammer Brother does a movement of 2... That costs one second, right? Each movement costs 0.5. Now, sometimes the Hammer Brother can do a movement of four, and that costs me 1.5 seconds. But since it's mandatory to do a movement of one at least, then that's only, yeah. Right on. Okay, so he moved up, so I had to do a couple extra map movements with Suck. And he moved backwards, which means I didn't fully optimize the star here. And, yeah, so now he's dead early, which is good. I'm kind of happy, uh, which means... I might start getting movements of one. Hopefully. Hopefully I start getting the movements of one. Right on. In terms of levels, I think level 1-5 is the only level I've made a mistake in so far. And when I say mistake, I mean, you know, like, I I need to execute a level this way to maximize the amount of time I can save. Um, so anything aside from that. Yeah, world record, bud. Nice. So I'm getting movements of one here, which is good. So it actually, it actually worked out perfectly. I'm getting, I'm actually getting movements of one here. I can't remember exactly the amount of mistakes I made, but now I'm getting, getting to play back. I get to actually see what my mistakes were. Um, but yeah, so far I've only made one in level mistake. Um, I haven't got the bestest of RNG yet. The Hammer Brother moving up is really good because now I can uh, maximize or optimize the best routing for this world. You don't want to do level 5 and go down to the pyramid. You don't want to do level 5 and keep going down and then back up. Because then you have to retrace steps, right? You pass the castle, get the warp whistle, do level 4, then go back to the castle. You want to do level 5 and then go up. Right? So I skipped having to do three additional map movements there, right? So, and again, that's all controlled by the Hammer Brother. It's all controlled by the Hammer Brother. That chest in the Hammer Brother battle will not appear until the boomerang's off the screen. And the Hammer Brother will always throw the boomerang, okay? Now, the star kills the boomerang, and that's why we use the star on the first guy. Right on. Where's the suspense? Why you just got to throw it out there like that? Why you just got to say first try? Where's the suspense? I'm not answering it because I'm doing commentary over it. Yeah, where's you guys' form of suspense, you know? So the Hammer Brother's in a really good position there. There's something called Elo, and that's that was another Mario 3 runner who always got the Hammer Brother in the bottom, the bottom space. And that's the furthest away, right? Where that Hammer Brother is depends on how much time you'll either save or lose. 
the warp whistle hammer brother if he's all the way at the bottom you got to do like four extra map movements which takes time you want him to be as close to the top as possible right so i'm actually pretty happy with this world too which is like embarrassing in terms of this game because i really only got like three movements of two and like it's so possible to get almost all movements of one i mean you the first movement is always a movement of two and then after that you can get all movements of one but mario 3 runners nowadays in world 2 are happy if we get two movements of one i mean can't complain about that so we got a press uh at 10 26 which is actually pretty good 10 26 is pretty good considering i said to myself uh this is my last run i don't feel like running anymore tonight i don't feel like you know i really didn't feel like playing so i was i was it was hard for me to reset. Terminator 100 bonus 10, congrats. <laughs> right on. Thank you for the 100 bits. Yeah, man. It's awesome. Um, but yeah. Like I said, it, it's hard for me to reset because I'm not feeling it. So I'm just like, whatever. Whatever happens. But World 2 RNG, the, as embarrassing and ridiculous as it sounds, I actually technically got good RNG in World 2, which makes no sense. The Hammer Brother with the star moved backwards, which is bad. And the Hammer Brother without the star moved forward. Um, it's just I got a couple movements of one. And, you know, I'm we got to be grateful for that because this game hates us. No, there's, there's, there is like a small Mario only speedrun. I think there is in the category extensions. It's not really taken very seriously. It could if somebody wanted to take it seriously. If somebody else took one of those categories seriously, I'd look at it and... and it would be like a good objective, I guess. Nice. We got a good kill. Tried tried it. We didn't get the wall jump. And we managed to walk away with an 1149. Anything anything sub 1150 in World 2 is good. I'm on world record pace. I already know I'm on world record pace. Right? With the uh, sub, sub 1150. That's really good. That's like you can't... You need to get good RNG also to get sub 1150. So... Um, I, right now, I'm like, Ugh, of course, the run where I'm not feeling and I'm like, what's going to mess me up now? What's going to mess me up now? Yo, live done. Well done, MFP. Thank you for the 10 months, well man. Well done, MFP. Really appreciate that. Got the first frame jump there. That only saves a couple frames. I don't actually know how many frames that saves. But essentially, what I did there is when Mario starts a level or if Mario ever goes through any transact or not transaction, any um, transition between doors and pipes and you know anything that results in him like being in the air when you go through the transition you actually get one frame input and if you use that frame input to to jump then you can actually jump in midair that's exactly how you do door three right you go through the door and you get the one frame to go back through the door you're still standing it it, it keeps mario standing all right this level is very important to the speed run everyone knows that this is one of the one of the nine nine important runs we managed it we had to do a little turn back but that's okay and we got in and uh so far we have five in our tens digit for our score but we don't have 55 coins so we're not worried about coin ship at all we're not even thinking about it anymore which sometimes is more dangerous because you might actually end up getting sucked into a coin ship uh we're getting okay hammer brother movements it's easy to get all movements of one in this world uh, but i got an 1149 so i'm not being too critical on it 3-2 is a run killer, right? You got 3-2, uh, you got 4 Fortress 1, um, there's a couple other run killers, 6-5, six, or sorry, 6-6 six, six is a run killer, like you could just die, your small Mario, right? There's so many run killers. So I got a water battle, which is unfortunate, and it was a top battle, so I actually lost a good chunk of time here. That's the slowest Hammer Brother pattern. Now, what, what determines if there's water in that battle is if you're over a water tile, as you can see, I'm over a water tile. If you're over a land tile, you'll get a land battle. Um, the water battle's slower because when you kill the Hammer Brothers, they actually float down into the water. When they land in the water, they float slower off screen. And the chest, like I said, won't appear until everything's off the screen. Just like the Boomerang Bros in World 2, the chest won't appear until all objects and enemies are off the screen. So you have to wait for him to float through the water to go off the screen. It sucks. And then now, so now I know I'm guaranteed another land battle, but it is possible to kill both Hammer Brothers before doing this level, which means I would save 0.5 because I'm going to do one extra movement after this. So that's, 
so bad. I have before I have beaten both Hammer Brothers on the wire water tile before the fortress, which actually is pretty good. You just talked about jumping after you leave the pipe. No, I talked about jumping on uh, transitions because if I jump, I build I build four I build more forward momentum at the start of 3-1 if I jump than than I ever would landing in the water and swimming. So I have I have a higher acceleration speed in the air until I land in the water and then I do my normal swim speed. Whereas when you start 3-1 without the jump, you land directly in the water and you don't build that extra forward momentum before landing in the water. And that's why that saves time. If you're talking about why I jump into pipes and um, to keep P speed through pipe transitions is you have to enter the pipe without touching anything else before entering the pipe. So if I'm running on the ground and I run into um, a horizontal pipe, I was touching the ground before I went in that pipe. So I'm not going to keep P speed on the other side. But if I jump into the side of the horizontal pipe, then the first frame, whenever I land on the ground, is going to be me entering the pipe. So I haven't touched the ground yet. And everyone knows when Mario's in the air, he keeps P speed. So the game still thinks I'm in the air as I transition through the pipe. So whenever I come on the other side of the pipe, I just move a little bit to get my base momentum higher. And then I jump and I have P speed. Now, whenever you go through a vertical pipe, you want the first frame that I touch the pipe to be go to be entering the pipe and the game will still think that I'm in the air so when I come out the other side of the pipe I have P speed Ah uh, no not really The fire flower is faster for the hammer brothers because you shoot fireballs right they go in front of you So we got a flower card there which is really good Remember, we, we always want our first card to be a flower card because then we might we might be able to not have to turn back at all um, for the rest of the cards, right? Every, every three cards, one of them consists of a turn back to make sure I don't get three stars, right? We actually lose like a good solid 40 seconds. I swear to God, it's like 40 seconds throughout the run having to turn back for these cards. And what do you know? I got another flower, so I have to turn back, right? I have to turn back to make sure I don't get another flower card. For any for anyone out there who has visual references for A Press on set on three seven, this one was a seventeen oh one, which is really good. I have been able to A Press at a sixteen fifty eight, which is three seconds faster than this, which is crazy. I mean, that's insane time. <laughs> About things altogether. All right, so we got that. That level is pretty standard. It's just got the super swim at the beginning. You don't even have to press A for the super swim. Because you're ducking and you already have speed built, you just press duck, and as soon as you walk off the ledge, you'll stand up and you'll go into the swimming animation. There's really not there's not many strats. But if you, if you duck too early, the water will slow you down, right? Water only affects Mario from the waist up. So if I'm standing in water that's one tile high, whereas Mario, Big Mario's two tiles, the water won't actually affect me because I'm standing above the water. So it's it's weird how that works. That's why when you're small Mario and you land in one tile water, you have to swim like a, like a jerk. So this level tried to stop me in the 100% co-op record, but I don't think it tried to stop me in this one. I think this level's a run breaker too. World 3, I think, is the only world that has two two run run killer levels. 3-2 is like a big a very big decision. It's a very big turning point. And 3-9 is huge. If you don't make that H jump, and the H jump is not easy. What about World 7 and 7-7? Seven, seven? Wait, we're watching right now. <laughs> All right, so 1917 A press on the castle. I normally have my visual reference from that to know. Um, like like a, 19, a 1921 A press on the castle is still good. That's still good. So when I, whenever I see a 1917, I know I got shit hammer brothers in this world, water battle, and then I fought them after five, three, five. Um, but I still know this run is good. Admit flower power. I'm sick for two day, and you get two WRs while I'm gone. 
It happens, man. I mean, I hate to be the person to say I toed a so, but I fucking a toed a so, man. The one stream anyone misses, I'm telling you, man. The, the, okay, I have to point out my lowest base average viewers in like months was the day I got the world record. And I feel bad for you guys. I feel bad for you guys. I'm happy, man. I got the world record. This is awesome, man. I love this run. I just find it, it's like one of those ironic things. It's just one of those weird things. It's like, what are the odds when I, gr I grind this game every single day, right? What are the odds that the least amount of people there was the time that I got it? When I'm, I'm trying to do it in front of you guys so you guys can watch it. It's just like, it's like, it's like God toying with us. You know what I mean? It's like one of those things. Come on, big guy. All right. So a 2040 is a really good world three. I immediately went to the Twitch archives. So a 2040 World 3 is actually really good. It's really good. Anything 2040 and below is really good. Even a 20, even a 2041 or 2042 is still really good. I, oof. And it pains me. The answer to that question pains me. All right. So as we all know, World 4, the bane of everything, man. And it's not even the levels for me. Well... 442 always hates me. All right, so we do our normal patented shell strat. So we go. Done. I know I love Big World 2, man. I always liked this world as a kid. I, when I was a kid, I knew about the warp whistles, but I didn't want to use it because I wanted to... I wanted, As a kid, I wanted to do World 1, get the warp whistles. I wanted to do World 4, and then I wanted to do World 8. I didn't want to... You know... I got a good movement there with the Hammer Brother. Um, so it's RNG whether the Hammer Brother moves left or right, obviously. But with him moving right, he's in between level 3 and level 2. So if I use a music box now, I can cross over him and then he's stuck. So I can actually get rid of him early. Big world, best world for sure. Right? So now he's asleep, so I cross him. And now he's stuck there. So he can't run away. He can't give me all that movement of 15 crap. So it makes me really happy to see see that movement. And level 2 went well, as you saw. Level 2 went well. I did a little bit of um, despawn, despawn stuff in uh, level 2. And this is everyone's visually favorite level. Everyone loves this level. Freaking awesome. All right on. There we go. We got it. We nailed it, man. That's really good. It's definitely a good thing to nail. So now he just does his movement of two, right? Which is pretty standard in this world. The Hammer Brother, you can't get movements of one within the first three levels in this world. It's not possible because he can't move. There's no movements of one for that cloud. All right. We do this level starless. It's a risk that I don't need to take, but I do, I do take because I'm very confident in this level. Uh, this level is arguably one of the hardest levels in the run. <clears throat> to do optimal and not make a mistake and i've been doing it for so long um i remember mentioning that because i did early hammer grind so early in warpless like so long ago when you do early hammer in warpless you have to do that level and if you're gonna do it you know i got good at it really early and really really fast because that level's only ever done in a hundred percent but if you do early hammer you have to do it as well so World 4 is going really well. I'm thinking to myself, okay, no marathons. Hammer Brother moved right. I got the sandwich him. I got to get rid of him early. I got the cloud early. I know where the cloud is in my inventory because I got it first, which is good. I haven't made any mistakes in this level. All right. No movements of 4. No movements of 9. None of that crap. And then what did, what did we get here? Movements of 2. So I get this bro first, which was the bad decision. This was the, ba this was the wrong decision. I should have got the Hammer Brother lower to prevent him from doing a movement of two, which he didn't do. So I got lucky there and I got a movement of one. So I'm very happy about that. There you go. So now they're, now I got rid of the Hammer Brothers before the last three levels, which is optimal. You want to do that. And then the, the patented four five. Now I want to see what happened here. Ah, oh, I didn't run far enough. I didn't run far enough on the ground. That was really good though. Good try. Good try. So, the, as everyone knows who's been watching the grind, there's a big time save here. We could save a good chunk of time. Good, 
good chunk by a meeting. Like, it's really hard to save more than one second in any level in this game. In any level. Like, what are you going to do? There's no new strategies that are going to save that much time. But that level has a solid one to two second time save, which is really good. This level, always sexy as hell. I don't need to kill any of the things that I'm killing right, except for that one plant. That one plant at the end is the only enemy I need to kill to get rid of lag. Every other enemy is just for fun. Just for swag. Just for swag. And did this level finally work for me? Yes, it did. Finally. It would be so standard if this level didn't work. If this level didn't work in this run, I mean, I'd be mad, but I wouldn't be surprised. I'd be like, of course. Of course. Grabbing that orb before 2540, I'm happy. I know I'm on a good run. And pressing A on the castle before 2550 is also a good run. So 25 high 48. So now for me, I'm like, okay. Wasn't expecting this run to be good. First run of the night. <laughs> like first run of the... Well, no, it wasn't the first run of the night that got going. But it was, the, it was my last run. So anyone who missed the beginning of the stream, I mentioned how in this run, I, I wasn't even feeling stream. I would like wasn't feeling well or something and I was tired. And this was my last run. And I said to myself, I didn't say it to chat, obviously, but I said to myself, I was like, this is my last run. I'm not feeling it. Whatever happens in this run happens. And sometimes that's better for a speedrunner because it's a lot less pressure. You're, you're not thinking as much of the stupid crap that can screw you over. Like you can't psych yourself out. When you're not overthinking stuff, when you're kind of calm and just like whatevering everything, you, you you can lead yourself to not overthink stuff. Yo, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Uh, not much to say in this piece of garbage. Not much to say at all. I'm sure I'm talking about a bunch of garbage. Chat is starting, uh, chat on the actual world record stream, chat is starting to rev up right now. Uh, when you see, when you see green in the thumbnail, you come, you stop by, man. You don't, that's no joke. That's, you don't mess around with that. <laughs> what a wonderful world for. It's <laughs> funny. So like always, you're always just messing around in these levels. Always just messing around. So, in my world five world record, I got two movements of two and all movements of one. So in my mind right now, I'm thinking, how much time am I going to save in world four or in the first world four worlds to counteract the time I'm always going to lose? I'm always going to lose time in world five. Always. I, how do I beat two movements of two and, and all movements of one? That's impo That's like some of the best RNG. That's one movement away from the best RNG in world five, which is so impossible. I didn't get a chance for off-screen wand grab. Boom. 2801. Anything under a 2804 is world record pace always in 100%. It's always... It's always... So I was very happy to see a 2801. I have... I have had a 27... A 2758 or 59. I've had that before. I've had that before on on stream, on world record pace. So we know that I can still be an additional three seconds ahead. I've had minus 10 coming out of world four. Now I use my music box, put him to sleep so that I can optimize, optimize this world as much as possible. Um, there we go. So right now I'm... I'm nervous, but I've been on this pace before, so I'm not nervous, but I'm nervous because I think I still have only made one mistake, and that's in World 1 Level 5. I didn't. I don't think I made any mistake in World 4. In World 4, I don't classify not getting P-Speed a mistake because it's P-Meter manipulation, which is extremely difficult. It's, sometimes it's either you get it or you don't, but it's not a mistake. I didn't mess up. And aside from that, I don't, I didn't mess anything up in, in world three. And I'm talking about like player wise, like I didn't mess up a strategy that I'm, that I need to do, like where I go slower or lose my P speed or something like that. So that's, so I'm not nervous, but I know that's on the back of my head. It's like, Mitch, you haven't made any mistakes. So if you just keep not making mistakes, you have so much time save that if the RNG starts to go south, you have that like counter time. You have the, the, the extra time to lose to stay on pace. So remember, I only need to beat the world record by six seconds. 
So even if I lose all eight seconds in this world, I can save time in world six. I can save time in world seven. And, and being eight seconds ahead going into world five, I can almost get almost... I can almost get any kind of RNG in this world and it'll just take away my time save. But I know I can save time in world six and in seven. <clears throat> so I got movements of two and then another movement of two right there. <laughs> there is definitely someone behind me. Yes, there is someone behind me. Got him. There's definitely someone behind me. So this level is always a piece of dump, but I like this level. I like this level because this level is only ever done in 100%. Only. That's it ever. So um, it's a good level. It's a good level. You got to go left and you go right. And, you know, I think some people are working on some despawn strats. If you get rid of that plant, there's a little time save in this level as well. <clears throat> now, I think I got all movements of two in this world. And if I get all movements of two up against an all movements of one, that's only half the amount of time, which is a lot better than getting three movements of one and then four movements of four. Four movements of four means I'm just losing everything. <clears throat> four movements of four just means I'm losing so much crap. So much crap. So I got rid of the Hammer Brothers. I'm happy. I haven't gotten any movements of four. I feel like that was a movement of three. But I can't remember. I don't think so, though. I got a bottom pattern. That's right. Bottom pattern is very important. I got. I killed him. That's all that matters. I think I got the world record because I killed that thwomp. I think I got the record because I killed that thwomp. So in, in terms of uh, menuing and item management, I'm not thinking about my items just yet. There's a, there's a little trick that I do in that I always keep track of one item at the very beginning of the run. Like in World 1 and 2, I keep track of one item. And then ever since that one item, I always look at where the item I, I where the items are when I'm equipping the one item that I know. So, so if I think to myself, I know my hammer is three spaces to the left. So whenever I go into my inventory to use that hammer, I do three inputs to the left, but I'm looking somewhere else in my inventory to to find where the next item. I'm like, I know I need to use a P wing. Where's my P wing while I'm equipped? Because you only get one chance to look in your inventory. You can't look at it at any other time. You can only look at your inventory when you're selecting items, which also makes this game amazing. P-Speed here is very important. Yo, thank you. So, Oh, they have a pay it forward feature? That's insane. Yo, thank you for the subs, guys. I'm trying, I'm trying to keep up with them, but I also want to make sure I don't miss any of the commentary. So if I miss them, I'll probably go through the subs again. There we go. I got a movement of one. I thought it was all movements of two, but it wasn't. All right, I've been on world record pace and died in this level before. It's it's happened. I'll I'll tell you exactly where I died. It's embarrassing. It rolled out last week. It's so, that's so cool. The whole pay it forward thing. I tried to jump on top of this question block here, and I actually like weaved around it and died. I did die on this level in world record pace. Now when people ask me, have you ever lost a run in like an easy level or something? I can be like, yep, legit. And it's hard to get here on world record pace. Anyone who watches my streams habitually knows. The friggin' Mitch, man. Yeah, that username's hilarious. Alright, so I, I know I get coins at the end of this level. So I'm not worried about having 33 coins here. There's almost a lack of two at the end of every level here. There's almost a lack of two at, at the end of every level. I got the world record on Friday in my last stream. So we got rid of that hammer brother early. So we got we got one movement of one, we got a movement of three, and then the rest were movements of two. So pretty much all movements of two. I, I'm getting I'm on pace right now for the world record. I'm playing right now. I see it. I look. I can see it. The chat right now on the playback. G bads, you just spammed Jesus clip. All right, so I know for visual reference, a 3431 is a uh, really good A press on this fortress. I know, I know that I have lost a little bit of time. Remember, I'm going up against a world five that uh, 
got two movements of two and then the rest were movements of one and i know i got all movements of two pretty much in this world so i know i'm losing time um but i know that i'm not losing all my time based on my a presses in the level like anything under a 3510 a press here is good and anything under a 3536 a press on the next level is really good Magic. Well, now I can save time in World 5 GTAs. When I go back up against these splits, now I can save time. I just need to get a couple movements of one, and I might save time in this world. And Jesus Clip can always bring it back a little bit too, right? I know. It sucks. It sucks you, you had to move. So 35, 30, 35 high 30 A-press. I know my pace is still really good right now. 15 Hammer Brother movements total. And my PB was... What was my PB? Are you sure it was 15? Did you go back and double check if it was 15 or not? Oh, my PB was 9. See, yeah, there you go. Exactly. A little bit less than half. Or a little bit more than half. Sorry. Sorry. I got lucky with the star. Uh, I didn't get lucky with the star card. It's standard to run full speed at the card whenever it spawns. You'll always get a star. It's not likely to get this stupid friggin flower which i got like a billion in this run i don't even know that how that happened all movements of two except one movement of one i thought i got a movement of three after the last hammer brother before the twisty castle a 20 a 36 28 i know this run is still really good because on my split a 37 56 is still insane anything under a 38 is insane and I'm 8 seconds ahead, so I know I'm on 37.48 pace, which is even more insane. And now, with my A-press on the castle being a 36.28, I know I'm still in the 37.50 range. So I'm very happy right now. Uh, the other thing, though, is that... So I'm happy, and I'm a little nervous because I'm playing well. But it's... Like, I haven't done seven World 7 yet, right? And that's that's the emotional roller coaster of 100%. I think is that like the game the game and the universe and, and all the things that matter in existence don't care about how i feel up until i get to world seven none of it matters at all at all it doesn't i can save as if i was minus 10 seconds even if i did even if i did seven seven without the clip i still lose 17 seconds so I could be more than 15 seconds ahead at this point, and it still almost wouldn't matter until World 7. And that's the scary part, because I, because after World 4, you have to do 5 and 6, which are just dumb worlds. Oh, yeah, I'll move out of the way for, for some of my reactions. There's only one reaction that's worth watching. So there you go. 3751 is still such a stupid time. This is ridiculous. Right, right now, like a like a big a big jolt of like nerves kind of went through me a little bit too. I was like, okay, like World Six, don't marathon me. I was really scared. I can't remember if I used the music box right here. I did, and I know the music box is down and two to the left. So when I I didn't do that, I didn't look for another item whenever I did that. Um, item equip because i know um the p-wing the way i do all my items up until this point i know the p-wing is always the first item to the left the the last item in the first slot right on so the patui at the end of six one didn't spit high in the air which means i did the faster pattern which is good and then i finally recovered and managed to get this in a run which made me pretty happy did some turn backs. I'm a little nervous. I don't want to mess up. I would consider these some of my next actual mistakes. I don't need to turn back there, and I did to make sure I did it. So that was uh, who's that's me. Look at that loser. So I got top pattern, which is obviously a time loss. Safety, yeah, doing turn backs is like safety strats. Sometimes they can kill you. So I got a movement of uh, two right there past mitch is watching yeah exactly right past mitch is watching so we got some movements of one in this world we got some movements of two and then right in front of us the hammer brother did two movements of four for his last movements right in front of us he didn't care at all 
that's like being a kid and looking at your parents and like during dinner time and you just like knock your glass of milk off the table you just eye contact the whole time it's pretty much what the hammer brothers did to me extremely rude hammer brothers it's called being a cat pretty much <laughs> Yeah, I got a lot of movements in one in this world. That's why I was a little upset at those movements of four. There's no need for those fours, man. Come on. So I could have saved an additional um, three seconds in this world had I continued with movements of one. But that's not the way Mario 3 works. If I would have saved those three seconds from additional movements of one, I bet you, I bet you other RNG elements wouldn't have worked. And that's how Mario 3 works. You can never... You can never change your thoughts on the on what you're what you get based on what you're given and based on what you could get. So, oh, I got all movements of two. Of course, that caused me to get you know hands and warpless. It probably did, but if you got all movements of one, you probably still would have got hands too, right? So, it's kind of the way Mario Three works. It's got that weird like gambler's fallacy thing to where like you can't preemptively go into a casino and expect okay i want to get this tonight and i want to get this tonight and i want to get this tonight it doesn't work like that you know and then mario 3 is the same so here's the next thing that needs to go is there's there's two levels in world 6 that are slightly out of your control for p speed and that's 63 and 64 and it's like 6-3 is in your control, but at the same time, it's really weird. 6-3 is 100% in your control, but at the same time, it's like kind of not. And level 4 is the same. So I got 6-3 P-Speed, but I didn't get 6-4 P-Speed. Um, yeah, and I messed up the castle too. I body rubbed. I didn't get to keep my P-Speed over that. And I don't know how much time that loses, but it is somewhat of a time loss. Not a huge, not a huge time loss. Are you guys ready for this? Right in front of us. Rude. He didn't even go to the left so I could kill him early. What an asshole. Oh, I got the new strat here. Yeah, the early P-Speed, man. That's the new strat. Right on. I'm so glad that worked in a run, too. And this level, obviously, guys, finally didn't destroy me. You guys know how this level is towards me. And I think I got the despawn, too. Oh, yeah, I got the despawn. <clears throat> you bet your sweet ass we got the despawn. And I don't like that end section, so I did it pretty slow. 275. Nobody can complain about that, right? I did two turnbacks at the end, but I also got a 275 in the pipe. So, very happy about that. I definitely can't complain about that. Look at that, right in front of me again! At least I get to kill him before level 6. And I had to do the scary strat right there. My nerves are, are getting higher and higher. Like, my stress level's getting much higher because World 6 is working. From, from this point on, I'm not stressed out about World 6 strategies. I can do them all. They're pretty easy for me. And that makes me more nervous. Does that make sense? I'm more nervous now because it is just the easy stuff left. I hope that makes sense. Right? It's one of those, like, there should be no reason why I make any mistake from here until the end of the world because of that crap. So, it's like, it messes with you. So a 30 a 43 37 a press on this level I know is really good. Yeah, exactly. You can't if you mess up 6 9 with a P wing, you, you can only blame yourself. Oh, yo, we got the meme clip. I forgot about that. <clears throat> we got that meme clip. What a meme, dude. What a meme, man. It's so stupid. This is live right now, this run. We don't know the outcome at all. We have no clue what's going to happen. No spoilers. You don't need to worry about it. I'm certainly not going to say it <clears throat> on the microphone. <laughs> I don't even know what clon what's clonking. Oh, cloning. Sorry, I thought that there was a K there. What the fuck's clonking? This is just boring auto scroll. I'm not doing anything. I'm just dicking around. Flip flapping my tail, duck jumping, unducking, all the random stuff. Yo, getting clonked, bro. 
<clears throat> so I look over to the live feed. Oh, okay. This level, I managed to get fast P speed. I don't think I made a mistake. I think I did a slightly slow. That wasn't that slow, but it could have actually been a couple frames better. But still pretty good. I think I got no turn back. Nope. And a double frame jump. Well, one frame jump. Yeah. It's not even a frame, I don't think. This was a very optimal level, which I'm happy about. Two people, one controller, and they're both Mitch. Oh, God, I can't. I can't do it. Uh, I am worried about white block grab, but at the same time, I'm pretty good at them. I've never really had too much issue, so as soon as it works, it works. So this level, yeah, worked out very nice. Very nice. I was so short on that one H jump, it almost looked like it pu pulled me up. It's like, here you go, Mitch. It's just like, pulled me up. Got me going. <clears throat> When was this? This is my last stream, Friday. So I see what I mean? I know that P-Wing is always that one input to the left there. And as I equipped this P-Wing, I saw that the next P-Wing is one input to the left. My next items that I use are P-Wings, and that's it. That's all I use from now on is P-Wings until the end of the game. And so I just keep my eye on where's the next P-Wing, and I know the next P-Wing is one input to the left. This level is a very crucial level to the speedrun. And I almost fell off that block there. And we nailed we we nailed that. That was really good. Killed him for the D D lag. <clears throat> okay, so now my nerves. This is the first point in the run where my nerves are, are the highest. Because now I know that it's relying on 7-1 right now. Because this level, I, I'm guaranteed this level. I mean, you guys have seen me mess this level up, but I'm pretty guaranteed. I know my strats, I know where to jump. Level kind of... The ghosts always despawn. <clears throat> like, they always go away on spawn, which makes no sense. I think that was the sub through the actual run. Dude, I wear special pants to absorb the hand sweat. I mean, I didn't wear silk shorts, if that's what you're asking, yes. If I'm wearing my, like, basketball shorts, then I, I can't get rid of the sweat very well. All right. Anything under a 47.30 is good. So 47.17, I'm nervous because the next big, the next primary thing that needs to work is 7.1. 7.1 has to work. Yeah, the old, my, my run is on the screen right there. It's right there, I can see it. So this is this is the first time where I'm really nervous, really nervous in the run because it's not up to me right now. And isn't that pathetic in this game? Like it's good but bad at the same time. I'm nervous because it's not up to me right now. I can do, there's things that I can do, like I can do the sub pixel manipulation and stuff like that. But at the same, that doesn't comfort me at all. Um, and I've been having a lot of trouble with 7-1 lately. I've been having a lot of trouble with 7-1 lately. Well, it's not just human, like, pressure, like, nerves. Like, obviously, like, pretty standard amongst everyone. But it's just a lot of people are nervous within things that they can control. Like, if you're playing, if you're in the X Games and you're a skateboarder, like, it's in your control. You, you play really well, you'll do good. But I'm nervous because I'm not in control. And I hope that this amazing run doesn't, you know, there's, there's nothing worse. Look at that. 3.1 second time save. And I got two movements of four, didn't get P-Speed in 6-4, and then lost time in 6 Fortress 1. Big, big time save right there. A 48-47 is dumb. It is dumb. No golds, though. No golds, man. I suck. Manip oh, the fireballs manipulate RNG. Dude, that'd be so stupid. So now I'm really nervous. Now that I actually visually see the time save, I don't know for sure how much time I saved. So I just get like super nervous. And I got to get this stupid clip. And luckily, now I am fucked right now. <laughs> now I'm like, okay, the game is giving you something. Watch my input display, guys. 
I let go of my right arrow, arrow during this level, and I thought it fucked me up. Watch my right arrow right now. Watch it. I let go of it, you see? I, I let go of it because I thought I was holding it too much, and I thought that was going to fuck me over. Take damage there. I don't have to. Didn't really lose much time, though, because you can't really... That spawning, guys, is such a jank. No, it, I didn't need to let go of it. Yeah, get that Arnold Palmer in, Mitch. Get it in there. The fuel, man. The fuel. So, I think from 7-1 from until the end of the run is when I kind of go quiet. I'm very focused, obviously. You don't really get these opportunities very often. I mean, I think I was grinding this for like a month and a half before I got this actual chance. Well, that's wrong. I had a couple runs world record pace going to 7-7 at this point. This would be my like third one in a month and a half, I think. No, more than that. I don't know what I'm talking about, man. I, I, I have no idea. I can't remember how many. All right, so this level's very important for me because uh, there's some things that can go wrong that can cause a lot of time. One of them's not getting that shell, and that's what happened to me. I lost a bit of time. I'm a little annoyed with it because that, that's like my strat that I came up with, and I'm, I'm messing it up, and I don't want to mess it up. I don't need to. And then that, that worked, which is good. Nailed that, which is good. That's really hard. The tail swipe grab block hit so I can keep running. 289. Normally I'm 290, but that's I know why. And then boom. Not too much lag. A little bit more than I had hoped for, obviously. Yeah, if you see 7-7 seven, seven in my stream during attempts, then you know I'm on pace because... Either, either I'm going to reset at the end of the Fortress in World 7, because like, I wouldn't put you guys through World 8 if we didn't need to. I would definitely not put you guys through this. So remember what I said, guys. A 52 flat A press on this level is really good, and I got a 5150 A press. So now I'm shitting my pants right now. Now I'm getting scared, right? I'm getting nervous. It's the one stream you missed in the last like how many months? I know. I know. If I do my if I do my average view rate for the past three months, this was my lowest viewed stream. And I feel bad for you guys. Like I said before, I got the record. I'm happy, man. I like I can't be any happier that I got this. But I feel bad for my viewers who stuck with me for like a month straight and all the grinds, and then the one day where people are like, nah, we can miss this one. You couldn't. You couldn't miss it. And you missed it. It happens. It happens, though. I mean, we can't catch them all. Like, I'm missing the season premiere of uh, Rick and Morty tonight, I'm pretty sure. All right, sea creatures worked. Thank God, man. I make it up to you guys by doing this, yeah. I know a lot of you missed it, so I'm doing this. I'm doing this right now for you guys. So I want you guys to get, watch it and get commentary. <laughs> Don't blame your girlfriend. It's nobody's fault, man. It's all good. I mean, I'm going to tease you guys for the rest of your lives. I'll never let it go. I'll bug the shit out of you guys. <laughs> and what did I get in return? A world record. So it's a win-win for me. <laughs> all right. Sea Creatures is down, and I didn't lose my tail. That was very important for me that I didn't lose my tail. All right, I knew my star was close. I did this level really well. I would always try and get Mario past the pipe transition before he stops slashing. How old was the world record? I think it was like two months. Yeah, two or three months. This level is very important for me. I've been messing it up a lot lately. I need to build the PCP, turn back, not build it, and then rebuild it. I did. Good to go. Very difficult. Very annoying, too. Worked out very well for me. It's a big time loss if I mess that up, especially if I build P speed. Because after I jumped, I would have had to. I would have had to have just sat there. I know, dude. I know, Kirk. That World 5, like, you can't beat that World 5 Hammer Brother movement, man. It's just so stupid. World 6 with the movements of 4 in this one, and then the movements of 2 in World 5. 725, 2019. 
So about four months old, three, three and a half or so, right? All right, so now I'm like, I got one level and 7-7 seven, seven has to not be a bastard. 7-7. Seven, seven. And I'm like, I'm still worried that like I, this level, it's not all just 7-7. Seven, seven. I still have to concentrate on a bunch of other levels, which makes it even harder because I got all these other levels plus 7-7. Seven, seven. All right, you guys want the... You guys want the reaction. You guys want, look at me. Look at how nervous I am, man. Get it together, Mitch. Get it together, dude. No dicking around, man. No dicking around. <laughs> I just, like, I could not believe it, man. Like, I'm just in shock. I'm like, how am I supposed to play now? My heart, my heart actually just exploded, dude. And, like, I've got a menuing. Like, the run's not even close to over. I still have another, like, 15 minutes, dude. <sighs> dude, there's a couple things from this point on that cost me the sub 109 or the sub 110. And this mid clip right here, mid clip cost me. If I would have got mid clip and continued on with everything from the to the end, I would have got the sub. That mid clip saves a solid five seconds. But I still did this section really well. A 271, can't complain. Can't complain, man. 271 with that mid clip, that's still really good. All right, so I made a decision here that I, I think was a very good decision. Some people might think it was a bad decision, but I think it was a good decision. So I shot these two guys and I said, you know what, fuck it. Got it first try and got it right away. Now I don't have to worry about missing a shot, accidental duck inputs, you know what I mean? That probably, that right there probably cost me a little under a second. And that cost me a little bit of time too, but I wasn't risking it. But in reward, I kept the P speed. Look at me. I got it. Dude, I couldn't have asked for a better fortress. With how shitty this level is and how much can go wrong, I think I made all the right decisions. Got my star. We're good to go. I don't think I messed anything up in this. I don't think I kept P-Speed in the pipe, but I didn't really care. That doesn't matter. <laughs> right? Giga did every strat like 15 years ago. Didn't tell anyone though. Yes, insane. So, right now, what I'm thinking is oh crap i haven't fire killed this guy in over a month i still remember it right this entire airship all i'm thinking about is the fire kill on the boss because number one you guys know me i'm known for having hammer suit here and hammer suit is obviously not a fire kill right hammer suit's not a fire kill i don't care what anyone says it's, there's no fire kill with hammer suit and i used to do hammer suit in 100 percent, so it's 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 still new. It's not new for me because I obviously learned it and practiced it. I'm not a noob, obviously. I've done it before. But when I barely ever do it, it's easy for me to forget the least fire kill boss that I've ever done. Hammer suit is not fire. Got it. So the whole the whole airship. I mean, am I even talking or looking away? No, I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting there thinking. That's what's in my mind right now. I'm just like, okay, I've done the I've done the fire kill like three times before. Every single time, I know for sure whenever I drop, I shoot a fire. Is he going to shoot right away, though? I can't remember. Do I jump over his Cheerios? Do I wait for them? What do I do? Does he shoot them or does he not shoot them? And I mean, that's kind of what I'm thinking the entire time. I'm trying to remember if he shoots before or after. I know I shoot as I enter, and I know I stomp on him. Those are the two things that I know. <laughs> It's almost as if they're different items. Oh my god, my brain is exploding. What is even happening? So now I'm looking at my time. I'm like, oh my god, I have 30 freaking seconds right now to beat this level. Like, what? This is so dumb. So I shoot the one, and then I question it, but he didn't shoot. So I And then I got it, man. I'm so happy. And then I got the bump. I could have got off-screen wand grab there. 
Even I'm doing the same thing, man. I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing the same thing, and I'm I'm just like so right now I'm kinda happy because auto scroller, auto scroller, hands, auto scroller. I'm not I've got like six minutes where I don't have to worry about anything, and I'm kinda like I'm pretty happy about it, right? Think about it. I mean I just a couple auto scrollers that I'm not gonna mess up. And I already have fire flowers, so I know I'm safe. Right, I know I'm safe, so I just got, and I'm focused. Look at look at how focused I am on an auto scroller. Like, do I need to? Uh, <laughs> do I need to like be that focused on auto scroller? And the answer is yes. Yes, you do. These are silent killers. The auto scrollers are silent killers. You knew you'd miss it the one day you didn't watch. I knew you would too. Mitch making out with himself. I'm good at kissing, I swear. These levels were really hard as a kid, too. Yeah, no, I definitely agree. These levels were not easy as kids. Did you ever die on an auto scroll in a good run? Yes, yes. I talked about that in one of my runs. I think I think during the 100% co-op run, I was talking about it with Haxer, um, where I was reading a sub. So I was on world record pace in Warpless, and I was reading a subscription... Somebody subscribed and they asked me a question in the subscription. And the question was, Mitch, is it hard to lose focus in these auto scrollers? Have you ever messed up before? And as I was chatting away with the answer, I messed up and lost my hammer suit, which means I couldn't world record. So the irony was I did within answering the question about the question and it was all revolved around the same crap. <laughs> is Mitch live talking? Yes. Yes, I'm right here. I am right here. <laughs> well, let me tell you a funny story, right? No, I haven't lost the hammer suit at GDQ in the past uh, two runs, I think. Right? I kept hammer suit during the race against the Haxer and Grand Pooh Bear and Lasso. And I think I kept the hammer suit. Uh, no, no, that was the first run where we kept the hammer suit. Yeah, it's all head games, man. And that's the other thing about speedrunning. Like, you can't practice for the for the things that your brain plays, plays you. Like, your brain, existence and emotions play you so hard, man. It's almost like they're against you, right? my like every inch of my soul wants nothing more than to achieve my goal but yet at the same time my consciousness and my emotions are not they're not on the same size side as me it makes no it's so weird it's so weird man i, I don't even understand it <laughs> is this the pause strat right here check this out guys check this out oops who does that i think i screamed out i was like yelling out i was like who does that i was like yeah good job buddy like i actually pressed pause and lost time there and the chat was like manipulation rng manipulation rng manipulation and i didn't get pulled in by the first hand so that was pretty good no, it wasn't a trick. I accidentally pressed it. And it was my left thumb that pressed it. My D-pad thumb pressed start because I double mash. And as I was bringing it back across to the D-pad, I pressed start. Look, I didn't get grabbed by the second hand either. If if I didn't pause, I probably would have been grabbed by one of the one or two hands. Well, you have to get the hands in this world, in this category. And I didn't get pulled in by the third hand, so I got no hands. I got no hands. So pressing pause actually 100% directly caused me to get no hands. We don't know for sure, but I can almost guarantee if I didn't pause there, I would have got pulled in by the hands probably. 
I mean, let's face it, right? You can't deny it. So right now, I'm kind of like super... I'm super stoked that I got no hands. Like, I'm mad that I pressed pause, but at the same time, I got no hands. So I can't... You know, like, quit being a bitch kind of thing, right? Because if I would have got... If I would have got pulled in by all three hands, the... I would have lost probably over three seconds, I think. I think it would have been about three seconds that I would have lost. Based on the moles throwing. Yeah, yeah, somebody's... I don't know if that person's still working on, like, hand manipulations and stuff like that. But there's a lot of weird things that we could be doing. But as a player, we can't, we can't do anything about it. Like, there's no way. Yo, thank you so much for that sub, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll get I'll get to notifications after this run. So right now I'm like, do I use a star in eight one? I can do it without a star, but if I use a star, I'm safe. Where's my stars in my inventory? So I try and look first page, not there. Then I go to the, and then instantly that was a pretty fast reaction, I'd say. Because I was moving my cursor while I was looking, right? There's no point. And this was my biggest mistake. I thought I jumped too close to the left and i thought i lost that but i did that sick move and it saved it i really didn't lose that much time there now i haven't made a big mistake in that level in a long time and that really didn't lose me much time because i got just enough all right and here's the last risky thing i did in the run and it's pretty much an rng the sun has two patterns here and one of the patterns kills me. Well, it doesn't kill me, but takes away my fire, fire. And the other one doesn't. And this one didn't. So I actually got lucky there. And my way, my way of doing that does not save, uh, you know, enough time to justify the uh, the bad luck, you know. You play all the levels because it's 100%. This level could not have gone any better. The only thing I didn't do, like I got H jump. That's perfect, right? I built, I built P-Speed here, which is even more perfect. That's fantastic. Look at that, man. I tried to go for the triple jump. Didn't get it, but re can't go any faster. It's not really much I could have done to really go any faster, so I'm happy about it. The only thing that I didn't optimize the most was a big slide here. I didn't get a big slide. But it's okay, though. Really didn't lose much time. So now, now I'm pretty antsy. World 8 went... Really well. It didn't go well, but it did, right? I got no hands. My only mistakes was 8-1 and pause strat. <laughs> but pause strat had some to do with the hands. Some weird shit. The task in 100% is 1 hour and 4 minutes. The task can uh, skip 7-4 with a clip that's impossible for RTA. And the task also does an impossible clip in 6-5. So the task saves more than a couple minutes just in a, in a few levels with things that we can't do. <sighs> Man, I was so nervous here. I knew I knew the sub I knew the sub 110 was gone. But I could have got the sub 110. I was also thinking about I was like, "Oh my god, what if my console because my cartridge and console has been really messing up for me lately, right? It's been really juking me around. Really messing me up, man. It's been really messing me up. And people are being very generous right now. I can't hear my notifications, though. I can't hear my notifications. I turn them off. I can't hear them. I can't see them either because my OBS is minimized. My chat's open. I, chat doesn't bother me. Some streamers like to close their chat on good runs. Like, I just don't look at my chat. And if I do look at my chat, I'm not really concentrating on what you guys are saying. I just look at it. Like, right now, I probably looked at it. Yeah, I'm looking at chat right now. And then I looked away, right? But I'm not reading it. I'm not there. You know what I mean? I'm gone. Like, I'm not... Does that make sense? I'm in this state of... Like, I'm, I'm not... Fo like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I'm reading it, but it's not registering. I don't know what's going on around me. This clip, oh man, I needed that to work. I was like, if that clip, and I refused to turn back here, I was like, nope, I'm not turning backing. Yo, and Bowser, I think Bowser even tried to fuck me too. I think Bowser tried to screw me with a shitty pattern. Right, he went really fast. Yep. 
But he took so long to shoot that I didn't have to worry about it. I also mash fast enough where where crappy pattern crappy pattern doesn't doesn't really bother me that much. Unless he shoots really fast, which he normally doesn't. Ooh, dude. What are we at right here? Boom. Yeah, dude. So happy. And I only lost two seconds or three seconds i only lost three seconds which means if if i didn't mess up eight one then i probably would have got i don't know if eight one cost me three seconds i don't know if eight one would have cost me three seconds oh we nailed it though we nailed it man i was so happy and those splits those splits are so dumb man I didn't know. I didn't yell at the top of my lungs, but I did, I was very happy. I did I did do, you know, I was yelling and stuff like that. I was still. I love that run. I thought that run was awesome. I'm I'm really happy with that run. Like I said, I was really hoping that would be a 109, so I could be happy with it and kind of move on, like stop. But I mean, I still got AGDQ, so I still got to do 100%, and I want that 109, right? That we're at the point right now where the grind is really exciting now because this is this is next this is next right and there's gonna be some runs in the future where i'm getting where i'm getting you know 103s or 11003s 1101s hope, hopefully i don't my next pb isn't a 11001 i hope it's not dude that would be a slap a slap in the face that would be a big slap in the face Thank you so much on the world record.